And here's the video review for Transformers United Bumblebee. This is the Bumblebee based off of the Classics mold that was released in 2007. Um, just given a really shiny paint job and released in Japan. Re-released, I think he had actually a uh, Henke Bumblebee that had some chrome bits on him. But this paint job, I can't tell you enough how gold and silver this paint job is. It's, it blows my mind. It's just this, this gorgeous, it looks almost like too yellow, but it's just this gorgeous like gold and then silver and then, ugh, look at that. See, there's the perfect, you see the gold there and then the yellow. So it's just painted, which is a total bummer because mine came out of the box. You can see that line. And that line, that's not mold detail, that's paint scuffing from the transformation. And it came like that out of the package. Now, uh, the Kick-Ass and Awesome One Danan on Twitter picked this up for me at uh, Japanese retail, which it was 1,900 yen, which with the yen to dollar rate equals about $400. But um, well, in all seriousness, it's yeah, it costs about 25 bucks. And it really shows in, in the, uh, the paint you get his little out-of-scale sea boat has some nice paint detail on it. I mean, it's painted white, black, blue. Uh, this is yellow. The underside's all yellow. But the uh, they did do the silver trimming here, which is nice. But it does kind of look a little, when you see it, in person more so than on the toy. We'll just put him off to the side. But the car mode, I mean, this is the classic Bumblebee, and if, you've, if you have this mold, you know what you're looking at. This is actually my first time with it. I've never picked it up up until now. Um, simply because I just, I missed out on the Classics B, and then I didn't like the three-pack version, and I didn't like the chrome on the Henke version, and I didn't like the, uh, Reveal the Shield version that just came out, so I decided I wanted this one, and turns out it was, you know, $60 on online retail shops, but it was sitting shelf warming in Japan, so one to nine was pretty awesome, and he picked it up for me. I do also really dig the Autobot instead of the rub sign or whatever on top. But anyway, um, transformation, I'm not going to go into detail because chances are you've seen it. The one thing I will say is that mine had a really hard time going back into car mode. Like if I just touch it, like these just, th these popped, I uh, really had a difficult time um, popping in and out. Transformation is actually pretty fun. And intuitive I mean it's it's the classics mold and it had that classics design to it so it uh, I don't know it just feels it's just sort of the right amount in my opinion of complicated and fun and you can do it you know this is only my uh, third or fourth time doing it and I can already do it pretty much Right out of the, right off the bat, I'm sure I'm gonna screw it up now and make myself look like an idiot. But yeah, it just uh, he's just a fun little toy, and I kind of regret not picking up. The other thing I noticed too is like this door pegs right here real well. This one won't, and this is also starting to crack. The thing that stinks most too is um, you know, because this is from Japan and whatnot, and I didn't buy it from an online retailer, I bought it from a dude. And it was it was sealed, you know, it's not like he opened it and sold me a cheap one, he wouldn't do that, he's too much of a good guy. Um, but I, it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, you know, you, you get stuck with some bad quality control issues, you can just go back to Target and return it. But with this, you really can't, you're sort of stuck dealing with it, and I don't really mind all that much. Um, but what are you going to do? I'll miss the little step here kind of weird and they have you do that but anyway mr. bumble here I think he looks better in car mode because the yellow and the gold contrast a lot more here because they didn't paint the underside or in the back um, it's one of those things where he still looks good and on a shelf really won't notice but when you're looking at him under the scrutiny of like a video review like I'm doing now or whatever um 
it definitely is more noticeable. The other thing too that I wish he had is like they did on the fans project stuff is they have that that tilt there over the bumper and he doesn't have that and I think he would have really benefited from it. Um, but I can understand why Hasbro wouldn't have put that in. He doesn't come with any guns, sadly. Uh, but he does come with this. With this, you turn it into a jet pack. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be. It's sort of stupid. And then you clip it. There's actually a little tab back there. And you jam it in there. And you clip it in. And now he's got... You know, it looks like he's got, like, speakers next to his head. Like he's walking around, you know, taking over Soundwave and Blaster's job. Just like... You know. Oh, what up? Just hanging out with my speakers. It also totally kills his head pose ability, which is a real bummer. But his head sculpt... My camera's not going to show it. His head sculpt... His head sculpt's pretty good. Um, for the price I paid for him, it's one of those things where if I had owned a Classics Bumblebee, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But not owning a Classics Bumblebee, I think this is a good version to have, and I don't really need to pick up any of the other ones unless I decide to go crazy. And I probably will in getting the uh, various head upgrade kits they're going to do. Um, I like that he doesn't have the silly white stripes the Classics one had. I like how he doesn't have the black stripes like any of the re repaints to make him look more like the movie. He just kind of has this silver and gold G1-ish Bumblebee gold bug paint scheme and I totally dig it. I just wish they would have given him a gun because Bumblebee needs to shoot stuff, man. I mean, what's he going to do when this guy just walks up and is like, oh, what up, I'm Hatchet. Ah. Thanks for watching.